We're live in Daytona and lo and behold, two 2024 Jeep Wranglers are sitting behind us. We've got a 392 and a 4xe. We're not going to take up too much space because a ton of people are walking around this and checking it out, but there's a lot going on with both of these Jeeps behind us. We're going to do a quick walk around. Ryan's going to get some great shots of everything we have to see on the 2024. And honestly, we're just excited to see it in person. There has been a few changes and we want to know from you guys in the comments what you would like to see. We're going to try and show you everything here or everything at least that we can see before it starts raining because it looks like it's going to dump but <laughs> that's Florida weather for you. Let's check out the new 2024 Wrangler in person and we'll see some of those main differences that we were talking about. So now that we're checking it out in person, those wheels, those are the biggest difference. I did have complaints about them. Seeing them in person, my opinion hasn't changed. I still think they look like a high altitude wheel mixed with a beadlock. I'm a bigger fan of the old style Extreme Recon. I understand why they did it. It's because most folks weren't creating bead locks out of them, but they dropped it down to 10 bolts instead of the 25. It does change it a bit, but let's check out the inside because here we have the power seats. Look at that. I don't know. They say they're more comfortable and you can adjust the bolster and there's probably airbags in here that fill up for the compression and all that. I'm not the biggest needer or biggest user of power seats and I'm not sure if you can actually set these up to be in a memory function, but if that's something you're into, for me, I don't really need it, but it is kind of neat to see them in person. I'm not sure how this is gonna hold up after the wear and tear though. Ryan, what do you think? I mean, a lot of our plastics get pretty beat up going in and out and I could see really smacking into this that probably wouldn't be too much fun. So we do have the recovery package on this, which is a Warren Xeon 8 Platinum, 8S Platinum, recessed winch mount on the front, and then the new grill, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not against it. I uh, I wanted to tell you guys that when I saw it first in person here like this, I really did like it. I think it's gonna be a lot easier to get a winch at. I can fit my whole hand in between the grill and the winch, which is pretty impressive because on my Jeep, I can't do anything like that. Now on this too, you also have a lot more airflow. These entire grill slots are all open, so you can fit your hand through there same style camera but overall very similar to what we're used to just a little bit more tucked and a filler piece down below so let me know what you guys think in the comments so in this model we can see it does have the built-in windshield antenna you can see that by the lines up there in the kind of orangish yellow color but if you look down here a little bit the antenna mast is actually still there so this is a very early production that's actually going to be removed and this is going to be a trail rated badge because the antenna is now in the windshield not the biggest fan of that because now if you shatter your windshield it's going to cost a lot more to replace so Big change there, and uh, I don't know. It's a cool change, but I didn't really need it, so oh well. All right, guys, so kind of looking at the new interior, you do see the 12-inch Uconnect 5 in the center there. I am a bigger fan than what I had seen previously online. It doesn't stick out as far. And then that bezel gauge that kind of wraps around the entire tack, as well as the speedometer looks good. Now up top, too, the phone mounts look like they're going to all need to be redesigned. It has a speaker up above the Uconnect 5. So there's a, there's a speaker up top there versus that just flat mount. And here's also that little Easter egg we were talking about on camera. So right down below there, you see the little Easter egg of the uh, the Jeep Gladiator as well as the Wrangler down there but overall not, not too shabby on the interior might have to upgrade to a 24. So kind of checking out the back here we were able to see up in the entire roll cage the now side curtain airbags that are standard on the first and second row that's a big seller when you're looking at riding around with your family talked to a viewer yesterday and they said anything they can do to like help their family member, their pet, their child in the event of an accident, as unfortunate as those are, that's gonna be a big upgrade for these Jeep Wranglers. You know, the Bronco had it, we saw it on there. Jeep decided to make the, a modern upgrade and decide to do it on their own. Second thing we noticed too, was the fact that on the back of these Rubicon seats, we didn't see the Molly webbing. So there's nothing on the back there. They're just flat panel. I think this is a pretty close pre-production, so it might be something that we will see in the future, but it's just neat to check one of these out in person and finally see it and look over all the quirks that are involved with it. So with this one, we got the 4x Evo over here. Obviously the 392, more action is on that Jeep. But with this one, we can actually see the trail rated badge that's gonna cover that up. Neat thing about the 4xe is with this one, it does have that plug-in for you to run camp gear. And then we've also got some new wheels here. So I don't mind these as much. They have a little bit of a machine face. Those are gonna be the new 4xe wheels sitting there. Overall, some big changes though. So lots of wheels and then the interior is the big one. So this one has the new interior as well. Maybe Ryan will get a couple shots because that's got blue stitching going across. They didn't do a flat color dash. They did more of a leather or pleather style and kind of have that all set up in there. So pretty neat. All right, guys, so on the inside, the biggest question we were getting about the dash is how far is it sunk in? So we're looking at about, 
I'd say it's about an inch and a half that this actually protrudes out for this center section. And the reason is they needed to put this vent right up top here, which actually doesn't look that out of place in person. I would say that the dash pushing out does look a little bit different than I'm used to, but it's about an inch and a half in there. I would say it's not as bad as it looks on camera. When you have different shadows, it definitely makes it look a lot worse. I gotta say I'm a fan of the stitching and I'm very big fan of the dash with that new perforated. And honestly, the screen looks great too. But yeah, with a new screen, everything like that, I am a fan of how that all flows. The one thing I wish they would have done is done a full digital cluster. Maybe we'll see that in the 2025, but not in this one yet. Still overall, a really cool look on the inside. And there's about the distance too. You can see how far that's protruding out here. Normally that's flush, so it is a little bit coming out towards you. I know Jeep a long time ago said they didn't want to get back to that. Looks like they're doing it a little bit now just to get all the tech in there. But still very happy with how the interior turned out. All right, guys, well, that's going to be it on the 2024 round. Wrangler. I gotta tell you, it was pretty exciting to check one out in person. It's enough for me to see them online and kind of conjecture and talk about what they look like there, but being able to physically see one, it was a lot different than I was expecting. So we were able to see a little bit of change in the dash on that grill. Overall, I'm very happy with the refresh. Not as happy with the wheel choice on the 392. I gotta be real with you, but I'm still very happy that it looks like a Jeep. And honestly, when you compare that front grill to the just standard grill on the Jeep Beach Edition right next door, it looks a lot more aggressive and a lot more defined too. So it still doesn't lose that Jeep touch. Touch, gives you a really cool custom touch shows off that it's a 2024 model the Jeep guys are doing a great job here so all the corporate guys were over chatting with us they actually hooked Ryan up with a free hat and t-shirt cool neat swag probably the first time Ryan's been hooked up with some free merch but glad to get Ryan with some free stuff from Jeep overall though I'm really excited with this one 2024 Wranglers are in the books Excited to see him in person and cannot wait to get one on order. What do you guys think we should order? A two-door sport, a fully loaded Rubicon 392, whatever. Let me know in the comments below. This was a great time. I'm so excited to check one out in person, but that's going to be a wrap for this one. Until next time, my name is Matt with Dirt Road Cred, and I want you to get out there and earn yours.